Bunnies, how are you doing? It is Wednesday, almost five o'clock, and I'm getting ready to make dinner again with another Campbell's Soup recipe. This has been kind of my Campbell's Soup recipe series this week. Um, and so I thought I'd take you along with me. This is gonna be a very casual video. Um, just literally finished my work day. It has been quite the day. Let me just tell you, I need to take a break and eat dinner and go back and do more documentation. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't share this recipe with you that I've never made before, but everyone seems to be liking these Campbell's Soup recipes. This one today is called the Lemon Asparagus Chicken, and um, you're supposed to be using a can of cream of asparagus soup for this recipe. However, my grocery store did not have cream of asparagus, so I picked up cream of celery. We're going to try that. And since there's no cream of asparagus soup, I'm gonna be cooking some aspar asparagus on the side in the oven, which I have right here. Um, I have some garlic on it and some salt and pepper right on a pan. You know the squeezed garlic? Um, salt and pepper right on a pan. I've got the oven going at 400. I'm gonna throw that in and we're gonna start making the chicken. And the chicken is 216 calories per serving. And it says the cost per recipe is $6.11 and it makes four chicken breasts. And it's just a nice, easy kind of chicken. This is not like gourmet craziness. This is just simple chicken with asparagus. And I think I might cook some rice with it on the side. I haven't decided on my carb yet. Actually, I better start thinking about that. I told you this is gonna be very casual. So come along with me. I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna start um, cooking the chicken. So let me turn you around here. And I just started storming here. You might hear some thunder in the background. I've got a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan. I'm just warming up. And I've got my chicken breasts. I've been thawing all day. And we're gonna start by sauteing these in a, in a pan. This is like a skillet recipe. So we'll throw our chicken in. Like I said, the um, asparagus is cooking on the sheet. That's not part of the recipe. I'm just adding it because this is supposed to be cream of asparagus and it didn't have it. We gotta have asparagus then. Yeah, the rain is really coming down hard here. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of salt on there. A little bit of pepper. Okay, that's first step. So we're gonna get this going and browning up. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna get my act together and figure out what carb we're gonna make. So we're just doing this off the cuff today. Okay, I'm gonna be real fancy tonight and we're gonna make this all gratin Real Idaho potatoes, um, this is from Aldi and it's 150 calories um, once you put it all together with the milk and a little bit of butter. So um, 150 calories for this. I'm gonna get this going, stick this in the oven and we're gonna have fancy potatoes at Danielle's house tonight. All right, chicken is cooking, scallop potato mixture is going into the oven for 25 minutes and we're moving right along here. All right, the asparagus is cooked, the potatoes are continuing to cook. My stove is really splattered. The chicken is all browned up nicely. Now we're gonna start making the sauce. It's supposed to be cream of asparagus. I have cream of celery. Um, so that's why I'm having asparagus on the side that I'm gonna add to this so we can have that asparagus flavor. You probably could use cream of chicken to improvise as well. I was just at the grocery store trying to make a decision last week and I thought, well, we'll do celery, cream of celery instead and see how that goes. Okay, so I'm adding the soup. We're also going to add some milk, a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, this is brand new. I forgot that I just bought this brand new. Let me just shake it just a little bit. A tablespoon of lemon juice. Just that. I'm going to stir this around to make a nice sauce. And we're gonna bring this to a boil and then we're gonna cover it for about five minutes or so just to get it all incorporated, make sure the chicken is nice and cooked. So I'm just kind of whisking this in a little bit. Make it like a little lemon sauce is what it appears to be to me. Gotta de-lump it. See, I've got it on medium and we want this to come to a boil. You know what I want to add right now. You guys know if you watch my channel. I want to add a little pepper. Just a little bit so the sauce is seasoned. 
You could probably add more lemon too if you like. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon. There's that. Just gonna get that sauce nice and stirred. lemon slice to each piece of chicken give it a fresh look so I'm improvising a little bit with the uh, asparagus I think what I'm gonna do is put the asparagus right on here that way it'll cook right into the sauce I'm just making this up as I go but that's why cooking is fun because you can do whatever you want or keep it on the side you don't have to do this I just thought, let's just get it into the sauce and then the chicken, let it all combine. Now it looks like asparagus chicken, right? Not chicken with cream of celery. Okay, I think I've got it all. I'm gonna put a lid on it. It has come to a boil. We're gonna let it cook for about five to 10 minutes. Make sure everything is cooked thoroughly. Reduce the heat a little bit and just let it do its thing. Then we'll plate it up and see how it looks. All right, I've got everything together. Everything is made. Let me show you. The potatoes just came out of the oven and the chicken is done and it looks absolutely beautiful. Almost looks like a little chicken piccata. Might be fun if you had cream of lemon soup instead of cream of celery. That might be fun too. So I'm gonna turn you around. I'm not gonna plate it because what I've been doing lately with my family is just leaving things on the stove. My kids are older now. Grab a plate, everyone take whatever chicken or potato or whatever you want. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it on the stove and show you this. Here we go, let's pan down so you can see everything. Okay, here is the asparagus chicken. Look how gorgeous that is. Nice and close with the lemon slice and the creamy soup in the bottom. I added a little extra lemon to it. Um, and then the asparagus I threw right on top. And then down here is just a cheapo Eldi's um, scalloped potatoes, 150 calories per serving for those. I threw a little pepper on top. So um, let me turn you around here. Okay. So this dinner with the chicken and the, the whole recipe and adding the asparagus and the potatoes is 379 calories. So that's not bad. It's balanced. You have your carb, you have your vegetable, you have your protein. And that's how I usually try to make my meals. Do I have a carb? Do I have a protein? Do I have a vegetable? That's what I'm always looking for. And this, this did it. This is a low budget, easy recipe for you. It looks delicious. We're gonna have this for dinner tonight using Campbell's soup. So I've got one more recipe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it tomorrow or if I'm gonna have it be my Sunday video. I honestly haven't decided yet, but I have one more Campbell's soup recipe to show you. And if you guys wanna see more Campbell's soup recipes in the future, let me know and I can look up some more. I just happened to just grab four or five the other day. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you guys are having a good week. It is, is today Wednesday? I think, I hope it's Wednesday. <laughs> We're halfway through the week, you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. Let me know how you are doing. Have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye honey bunnies.